Okay, today I'm going to teach about the rate of change. This is this is the form four chapter for MX. Okay, when we talk about rate of change, the key words here is the words rate. Okay, what is the meaning of rate? So when you see the word rate, mean actually the rate is related to the time. Okay, so when you see see the rate of change, means you know actually this term is related to the time so when related to the time in differentiation chapter this one will call it dt okay and then actually in di differentiation chapter you will learn one rule is called rate of change rule that rule is dy dt will equal to okay dy dx multiple dx dt Okay, this is some sort like formula. Okay, so okay, so how you going to remember this formula is like that. Okay. If if I write dy dt here means if the question asks uh, want you to find about dy dt, okay, first thing is you write dy first. And then dt you write on another side. You write dt here. And then put a multiple and then put to uh, put two line here why why you need to put two line because actually dx and dx you can simplify after you simplify dx and dx you, you will got one and one so dy multiple one you got dy dt multiple one you you got dt therefore you can straight away got dy dt so and then so here you write dx dx okay so the key point here is actually y and x can be anything means if you do the past year questions sometimes you didn't see y may maybe you will see dv means he differentiate the volume uh, over time and then when this is volume maybe x he can change to radius so maybe this one will, will become dv dr multiple dr dt Okay, okay, if you can understand about this one, let's have a look on the sum of the past year question. Okay, okay, so in this question, he say a block of ice in the form of the cubes with size x cm and then melt at the rates of, rates of 9.72 cm cube per minute. And then it asks you to find the rate of change of the x at the instant when x equal to 12. Okay, first thing is, okay, he said a block of ice in the form of a cube. Okay, when you see cube, cube will means actually you will have a volume with the same side. When you see cube with the side of x, mean, means the height of the cube is x, the length of the cube is x, and the width of the cube is also x. So therefore, the volume of the ice cube will equal to x multiple x multiple x so it's x cubed okay so first thing when i got the volume will equal to x cubed so the first thing is i i need to differentiate the volume so when you got the v here and x here this one we call it dv dx so i write dv dx okay so when you differentiate you just move the three to in front and then three have to minus one so when i move the three in front i will got three x and then 3 have to minus 1 square this is for dv dx and then in this question he give a very good information he said the okay melt at the rate of 9.72 cm cube per minute okay first you see the unit cm cube what's the meaning for cm cube okay cm cube obviously this one is for volume when you see the unit got cube actually this one is for volume and then per minute when you see per minute this one is for time so this one for volume over time volume over time so you see cm cube per minute so this is dv dt okay and then he, actually he give, it, give you another hint he said rate he said the word rate so when you see the word rate means you know it's actually is related to the time so therefore the value here is 9.72 9.72 and then because he said male at the rates 
of 9.72 means actually the, the, the block of ice will become smaller and smaller and smaller because it's it used the word melt so you have to add a negative okay and then you give you have these two information okay so and he asked you to find the rate of change of x okay when you see rate of change of x you see the word rate mean he wants something in group dt okay so rate of change of x mean he want to find d x dt so if you if the question want to find d x dt okay so we just apply the formula we learned just now okay we write dx here and dt here okay since we want to find dx dt so the first term i write dx here and then I put one line and then and and then i write multiple and then i put one right one line and then i write dt here okay so what should i fill from the em empty space here the empty space here i will fill with the dv because we have we have dv here because after that we have to simplify the dv so i write dv here and dv here okay so dx dt will equal to dx divide dv multiple dv divide dt so if you can if you're able to write out this one then you can easily solve so dx dv we do not have dx dv but then we have dv dx so dx dv actually is equal to 1 over dv dx so 1 over 3x squared and then multiple dv dt dv dt here will equal to negative 9.72 so you just multiply this one you can get the dx dt therefore dx dt will equal to negative 9.72 divide by 3 okay he, he, he give you the x value x is equal to 12 centimeter so 12 square and then you just using the calculator to press you can get the answer for this one okay okay maybe we, let's have a look on another example okay let's see for this example okay on the example here actually what you want to find okay you said the volume of the fair is increasing at the constant rate of 12.8 12 pi cm cubes and per second okay cm cube as ne power negative one so the first information here i have the this unit cm cube mean actually is volume and per second me actually is is for time so this one will involve v and t from the unit i already know this one is called dv dt because cm cubed per second so since he said increase so this one got no negative so will be 12.8 pi okay after that okay he, the question he also gives us the volume of the of the first is this one so obviously I, I write out this one v equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed so if I differentiate this one with the r what I will got is I will got dv dr will equal to I move the 3 in front will become 3 multiple 4 over 3 pi r and then 3 have to minus 1 become 2 and then this one I just simplify I will get, got 4 pi r square is for dv dr okay because all the information the question give you 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 have to use it okay after that he asks you find the radius of the sphere okay at the instant when the radius is increasing at the rates of 0.2 cm uh, per second so he said increase at the rate so when you see the word rate means in what time and then actually unit here already tell you okay this one cm is a length okay so obviously the length for here we only have r so the cm will for the length of radius and then per second this one will involve time t okay therefore this one is called dr dt will equal to 0 
Okay, so after you got this one, okay, after you got this one, he say find the radius of the first after instant when the radius is increasing. Okay, he said when the radius is increasing at the rate. So obviously, radius increase at the rate means dr dt. So dr dt will equal to zero point two. So after you got this one, he want you to find r. So in order to find R, you just put everything. Okay, you just put everything here. So let's okay. Let's see. We we write okay. D D R D T will equal to okay. D R D T will equal to you write D R here and then put a line and then multiply. You write D T on the bottom and then you have to simplify something. So you see what is the something here? Obviously, it's D V. So I write D V here. I write D V here. Okay, so therefore, dr dt is equal to zero point two. I put zero point two, and dr dv, dr dv, dr dv. We do not have dr dv, but then we have dv dr. So dr dv will equal to one over this one. So you have got one over four pi r square, and then multiple dv dt is twelve point eight pi. So we just need to solve this one in order to get the correct answer. So if we need to solve this one, what we will have is okay because he want us he he want us to find the radius. So we want to find r. So what we do is okay. So we just multiply everything here. So zero point two will equal to twelve point eight pi divide four pi r square. And then I move the r to this side. Mean change space is zero point two. So r square will equal to twelve point eight pi divided by four pi, and then the zero point two I put here. So therefore, r square will okay pi and pi I can simplify. So this one twelve point eight divided by four multiplied zero point two we got divided by zero point eight. Okay, so when this one divide by this one, we just press the calculator. We know actually this is you will got one 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 zero point eight four forty eight one six. Okay, so r square will equal to sixteen. So r will equal to square root of sixteen, positive negative. So r actually you will got positive negative four, because r is the radius. So we only take positive. So therefore, radius. Will equal to four centimeter. That's all. Okay, I really hope this video can help you. Thanks for watching.